and they all lived happily ever after. The end. Wow, that was a good one. Good night, Zoomer. Sleep tight. Don't leave yet, Boomer. Stay a little while longer. But what's wrong, Zoomer? You need to be getting to sleep. I'm scared. The book made me nervous. Now I'm thinking of all the things I'm afraid of. Like what? Well, let's see. There's airplane, bees, coronavirus, dogs, electric chalk, fire, ghosts, hexes, invertebrates, judgment, knives, lice, mice, nighttime, orthodontists, poison, questions, roller coasters, spiders, teasing, under my bed, violence, worms, x-rays, yellow fever, and zoom. Wow. Did you like just list from A to Z all the things you're afraid of? I can relate. I feel afraid sometimes too. Well, how do I feel better right now? I can't sleep when I'm afraid. Well, stories help. You know, when I'm afraid or I'm feeling nervous, I remember that I'm a part of a bigger story, which is God's story. It's full of people who were afraid sometimes too. You know, I think I have time to tell you one more story tonight before you go to sleep. And that's a part of God's story. It's about people who were afraid of many things. And it starts in Nazareth, a town in Galilee with a woman named Mary. Welcome. Welcome to my home. Do you want to talk with me? Oh, but we've not met before, have we? Or do you want to hear what I have to say? I do. I do. Oh, pardon me. Let me start over. Greetings, favored one. God is with you. What kind of a greeting is that? Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now, you're going to have a baby boy, and you're going to call him Jesus, and he will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. How can this be? How is this going to happen? Well... The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy, and they will call him the Son of God. Oh, and your relative, Elizabeth, she's going to have a baby also. And everybody said that was impossible. But nothing is impossible with God. Hmm. So was all of that a question? Um, mm. Are you asking me if I want to do this? Good question. And the answer is yes. Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me, according to this message. <gasps> I need to see Elizabeth. Ding dong. Oh, Elizabeth, are you home? I'm coming in. Come right in, Mary. Mary, I have to tell you something. You're so blessed. You're so blessed among women. And, and the child in your womb is also blessed. The minute your greeting came to my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy. Here, feel it. Oh, he's down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Elizabeth, 
I am also bursting with good news. I took one good look at me and look what happened. I am the <laughs> most blessed woman on earth. What God has done for me will never be forgotten. I'm talking about the God who knocked the powerful off their thrones and lifted up the lowly. Um, but uh, so can I stay with you for a few months? Have some. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, Mary is pregnant. How can that be? We're not even married yet. And according to law, that is not good. Not good at all. She says the child she carries is God's child. The only thing I can do is to marry her and divorce her quietly. That will save my reputation, at least. But she will be disgraced. What can I do? I'm so afraid. Oh, Mary. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to get married. Mary is pregnant with the Holy Spirit, God's child, Jesus. You will name him Jesus because that means God saves and he will save his people from their sins. I'm going to marry Mary. I'm going to marry Mary. We're going to have a child and the baby's name is Jesus. And I'm going to be a dad. I better go and pack as fast as I can. Hold on, I have a question. Why was Joseph packing a bag? Do the angels visit people in dreams? I will take a photo of that now. What the animals? <laughs> they did. Being a helper is what the Christmas story is all about. I have more questions. Why was Joseph afraid of Mary having a baby? That is a lot of questions. Let's listen to the rest of the story. Citizens of Rome, it is I, your Lord and Savior, Good Shepherd, Light, Way, Prince of Peace, Caesar Augustus. I want to say you're welcome for all the great things I've done for you. There has never been an emperor as powerful and glorious as me. My empire is vast. You people are obedient. I am saving you all, all of you, and you owe me so much, so much. Citizens, I want to count you. Yes, let's get a good head count so that you can all pay me what I am owed. Go to your hometown and register your family so you can show proper appreciation of my awesome. I decree it to be so. Farewell, my faithful children. May you know my magnificent ways. Farewell. <laughs> okay, the good news is I think I found us a place to stay. Finally, this baby's not gonna wait forever. Where are we staying? Did you get a room at that nice inn I like? The one with a good breakfast? Uh, not exactly. It was full. Oh, no. What are we going to do? 
sleep outside with shepherds, stay in a stable with donkeys? What? No. Who would do that? Oh, Joseph, this baby is coming soon. I know. I know. The guest rooms are full, but I found an innkeeper who will let us stay in a small space in his house. Oh, good. Yeah. It's a nice space. Lots of hay. Maybe a few animals. Let's do this. Mary had the baby, then wrapped him in strips of cloth and put him in a feeding trough. There were shepherds living in the fields nearby, watching over their sheep. They were about to be frightened by some powerful messengers from God. They would soon realize they did not have to be afraid. Glory to God in the highest. Ahem, ahem. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Am I on mute? Are you people even listening? Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all of the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born for you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and laying in a manger. That is all. Goodbye. You both saw that, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Yep, that happened. <laughs> really? Well, well, we're going, right? I, I guess we're going. We, we have to go. Do we bring the sheep? <laughs> I think we have to. Do the sheep want to come? <laughs> yeah, we want to come. Take us with you. <laughs> about a baby wrapped in strips of cloth lying in a manger saying ba ba ew ow ow well we won't forget that baby manger strips of cloth let's go you too little sheepy come on ba. no more giggling come on sheepy <laughs> That was a miracle.
It was exactly how the angel had described. The baby was wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Friends, we have seen something amazing tonight. I don't know about you, but it feels like, like the whole world is changing. Yeah, but why do we think we got to see it? I mean, nobody cares about us. We're poor and we don't have very much power. I have no idea, but the baby's mother, Mary, acted like this was exactly what was supposed to happen. Like this was meant for people like us. Maybe this baby <laughs> Bowmans get it together. I was pushing through. <laughs> and that's the Bowman life. Maybe this baby will lift the lowly. And bring down the lofty. Wouldn't that be something? It sure would. I believe there is no limit to what this baby can do. Hey, shepherds, was that star there last night? I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Hello. And welcome to our observatory. We are the wise men. Wise people. The magi. We're really more like scientists. Astronomers. We study the stars. We study the stars so well that when something changes, we notice immediately. And we just noticed a new star. We must follow our scientific instincts and find out why there is a new star in the sky. We now begin our journey. Are we there yet? You literally just asked that. Now? Yes, yes, it looks like we are here. Here it is, Bethlehem. Let's look up the local king so we can get some more information. Just let me Google it. Did somebody say king? That would be me. I'm the big cheese around here. Everybody's talking about it. They all say that I'm the powerful king, the best king Bethlehem has ever seen, the king like nobody's ever seen before. We got it. Best king ever. So we are here because we're looking for a newly born king. The child born king of the Jews. We observed his star at its rising. And we have come to honor him. Uh, would you excuse me a second? Uh, I need to make a call. Hey, put me through my smart people. All right, this is your king, the very best king. If there were an election, I would have won it. I need to know, uh, according to your research, where is the Messiah supposed to be born? Uh-huh. Meh, Bethlehem. Are you sure? Mm, bye. Um, hi, hi, wise folks. Um, so yeah, yeah, this is great. Uh, go on and find this uh, child and pay him honor, and and get back to me about that so uh, I can honor him too. Uh, sure. Uh, okay. We can do that. Let's get out of here. When we left Herod, he decided to sit around and be jealous and plan his revenge. He felt very threatened. There was a new leader that people were excited to meet. But we found Jesus and brought gifts to this special child. We brought gold. Frankincense. And myrrh. Usually these gifts are just for royalty. Powerful people. Grown men. But we brought these gifts to a tiny, weak, oppressed child. Even though we didn't know exactly what was going on, we knew he was important. This good news would turn everything upside down. Oh, and by the way, we didn't go back to that wicked King Herod. Nope, no way. We were warned in a dream to take a different way home. You might say that we took the scenic route. And now we return to watching the stars. Thank you. 
people were really brave. They honored the one God had chosen, brought presents, disobeyed the orders of King Herod, and made it home safely. That is a lot. In fact, everyone in the story was brave and determined, from Mary and Joseph, to the shepherds and magi, to the angel chorus, they all recognized that the birth of Jesus was going to change the world. It is unfolding more good news every day. And in the end, all things will be made right. That doesn't mean we won't be afraid along the way. But we can trust that love and justice will have the final word. And speaking of the final word, let's have a final word from Mary, the mother of Jesus. My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For you, God, have looked with favor upon the humble state of your servant. Surely from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For you, the Mighty One, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. Your mercy is from those who fear God from generation to generation. You, O oh God, have shown strength with your arms. You have scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. You, God, have brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, God, have looked with favor on the lowliness of your servant. Surely, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For you, the Mighty One, have done great things for me and holy is your name. Your mercy is for those who fear God from generation to generation. You, O oh God, have shown strength with your arms. You have scattered the proud and the thoughts of their hearts. You, God, have brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have helped your servant Israel in remembrance of your mercy, according to the promises you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah, and to their descendants. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and all things came into being through Him. And without Him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness 
did not overcome it. Grace, 
Jesus, Lord, help thy birth. Jesus, Lord, help thy birth.